a play. When I was little, I liked going to see plays. It was exciting. People dressed up and did funny things. I wanted to be in a play too. Once I was going to be in a play at nursery. I was going to dress up as a king. But then I had chicken pox, so I couldn't be in the play. Once there was a lady called Cinderella. One day, Mummy said they were choosing children to be in a play. The children's theatre are additioning for children to play the toy soldiers. Do I get to dress up? Yeah. But they have to choose the children first. Yippee! Yippee! I said, I'd like to be a toy soldier and dress up in a play. On the day of the choosing, I was very excited. We went to the children's theatre. There were lots of other children. There you are, let's go in there. Right, uh, Mr Tonka. Mr Tonka's there over on the piano. Mr Tonka was on the piano. We had to march like toy soldiers. It was fun. I loved the marching. When can I dress up? I said to Mummy. We have to wait for the choosing tag. When we were waiting, the man talked to Mummy and then we went away. Mummy and me went to a little cafe. Why can't I be a toy soldier, Mummy? Mummy, why will I be a toy soldier? I'm sorry, Tig, but they didn't choose you to be a toy soldier. I'm sorry, Tig, but they didn't choose you. The thing is, they need the toy soldiers to be a little bit taller. The toy soldiers need to be a bit taller than you. You wait there, I'll get some treat. I was sad. I wanted to be in a play. Hey, Tig. It's not nice when other people are chosen and not you. That's not fair, Willie. Yes, it doesn't seem fair. You wanted to be in a play. You wanted to be a toy soldier, but not everyone can be chosen all at the same time. Sometimes you just have to wait and try again and have another go. You might not be a toy soldier this time, but hey, there are plenty more plays and dressing up. When one door closes, bang, another door will open. Yippee! So go for it, Tig. Don't be sad. You just never know what's around the corner. Yes, I thought. I was sad I couldn't be a toy soldier, but you never know what's around the corner. Just then, someone came round the corner. Hi, Tam. How are you? Oh, all the better for seeing you too. Hello, Tig. Hi. It was a man Hello. called Tam. Oh, bit of a disaster. Oh, dear. Opening tomorrow, Elves and the Shoemaker at the Children's Theatre. Tam was doing a children's play, The Elves and the Shoemaker. One of the elves has chicken pox. But one of the elves had chicken pox. I wondered, would you like to be an elf? Do I need to dress up? Oh, yes, as an elf. OK. I was in a play. It's a bit of a rush, though. Rehearsals this afternoon. I was so excited. In the afternoon, Tam showed me what to do on the stage. This is Louise now. She's the other um, elf. I know you know Louise. Louise. Of course you do right now, so what? She's one of the elves and you're the other elf. My friend Louise was another elf. And Tam was the shoemaker. The two elves run onto the stage. When the shoemaker grows old, said Tam, the elves make his shoes. Tam showed us how to make the shoes. Ready, ready. And snip, snip, snip. Cutting the leather. Stitch, stitch, stitch. Sewing together. Tip, tip, tap. He was so clever to make a fine pair of shoes. We practised a lot. Tam gave me music for the play. I practised the play at home. Stitch, stitch, stitch. Tip, tip, tap. So clever to break a pair of shoes. The next day was the day of the play. Louise and me did our dressing up. We had ears on our hats. We looked different. We looked like 
elves. It was nearly time for the play. Mummy took me to the stage. Mummy didn't quite know the way. When we got to the stage, it was the wrong stage. There was a funny man doing another play. Here we are, Ted. This is the wrong stage. No, Ted, that's Tam. That's not Tam. That is Tam. I was going to be late. I had to find Tam. Then I found Daddy. Suddenly, the funny man started to sing. Hey, there once was a maker, a maker of shoes. A shoemaker making his shoes. His play was like ours. I liked it. I knew all the words. Then Daddy said I should be on the stage. What are you doing here? That's not Tom. Yes, it is. You're supposed to be up there on the stage. But where was Tam? Hey, Tig, people in plays can look different because they dress up. People in plays look different because they put makeup on. People in plays look different because sometimes they wear different hair. I look different, you look different, and Tam looks different. You look different because you are dressed up as a cheeky wee elf. Tam looks different because he's the shoemaker with his glasses, moustache and hair. Well, the clever shoemaker, the older he grew, the slower he's making his shoes. That's Tam on stage. Time for the elves to make the shoemaker his shoes. Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. That is Tam. I should be on stage with him. We waited for the shoemaker to peep. Then we could be elves. Dozy shoemaker, he woke from his snooze and looked at the work on his shoes. The leather was tapped and stitched and sewed, shaping fine shoes from heels to toes. A pair of shoes, the best to choose. But who had been making his shoes? Stitch, 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 sewing together. Tick, tick, tack, shaping the leather. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Who is so clever to make fine pairs of shoes? But who did the sewing and stitched? He worked and he slipped, but at night did not sleep. Keeping awake, he took a peep. Me and Louise were making the shoemaker his shoes. We were the elves. Stitch, 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 sewing together. Tip, tip, tap, shaping the leather. Tip, tip, tip. They were so clever, the elves were making a maker, a maker of shoes, a shoemaker making his shoes. He worked with the elves and he snipped and they sold, shaping new shoes from heels to toes, making fine shoes and hairs to choose. A shoemaker, elves and their shoes. Snip, 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 cutting the leather, stitch, 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 sewing together. Tip, 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 tip. They were so clever to make fine pairs of shoes. play, everyone clapped. When everyone saw Willy, they all went, ah! It's only Toy Spider. He's only my Toy Spider, I said. I like the elves and the shoemaker. I like being in a play. I love Willy. Going to school. When I was little, I went to school. Not my nursery school, but a big school. Wooly came too. Before I went to school, me and my mummy went to see it. A nice lady showed us the big school. Who's this, Wooly? Would you like to come and show Wooly something in the school? There were lots of rooms. There were lots of stairs. They were pegs to hang up our coats. Cool. Down here. 
They were toilets. I like the toilets. They have lots of basins. Then the nice lady showed us into a room with lots of pictures and chairs. And this is Miss Sanderson. She's going to be your teacher. This will be your classroom, Teg. Miss Sanderson will be your teacher. I liked Miss Sanderson. She smiled at me. Miss Sanderson showed me my classroom. That's right. There were tables for writing, play areas just like nursery. I had my very own draw. Then I met a girl called Julia. Julia, she's going to be your buddy when you come to school. Julia was my buddy. Julia gave me a book all about her. I liked my new big school. Mummy bought me new clothes for school. They were clothes just like Julia's. OK, Teg, do you want to go and try on your uniform? Yes. When Daddy came home, he didn't know who I was. Who's this? Teg. No, you can't be Teg. Oh, it is Teg. <laughs> yeah. Funny, Daddy. And here's your bag, Teg. Thank you, Mummy. You're all set for school. Yeah. On my first day at my new big school, I was very excited. We hung up our coats. In my classroom, Miss Sanson let us choose what to do. I played just like at nursery. I knew some of the children. They were at my nursery. Yippee! Later, Miss Sanson said to sit down. Now, boys and girls, we are going to do some letter work. We did sounds. We did shapes. And swap. We learnt letters. Miss Sanson showed us how to write letters. Up, down, with a tape. Do you think you could have a go? I wrote my letters with a pencil. Those are wonderful. Well done. Just keep going. I want to make all the letters just right for Miss Sanson. Ping! My pencil broke. I couldn't write anymore. I didn't know what to do. Oh dear, Tig. You broke your pencil. I know how you feel. You don't want Miss Sanderson to know, do you? No. But Miss Sanderson is here to help, Tig. If you don't tell her your worries, she can't help sort them. Any weeny worry, any tiny trouble, any little bit of bother. Have a funny tummy, feeling kind of grumpy. All your bits and bother grow bigger. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Tell and share your troubles, that way they go away. Tell and share your troubles for happy worry-free days. Share and tell, tell and share, share and tell, tell and share for happy worry-free days. Any weeny worry, any tiny trouble, any little bit of bother. Have a funny tummy, feeling kind of grumpy. All your bits of bother grow bigger. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Tell and share your troubles, that way they go away. Tell and share your troubles for happy boy free days. Share and tell, tell and share, share and tell, tell and share for happy boy free days. Go for it, Tig! <laughs> yes, I thought. My pencil's broken. I must tell Miss Sanson. Oh, that's no worries. I'll give you a new one. There you go. No worries. So 
said Miss Samson, and gave me another pencil. I loved my first day at school. When I got my shoes the wrong way round, I told Miss Samson. When I wanted to go to the toilet, Excuse me, where's the toilet? A teacher reminded me where to go. In the playground, I had no worries. My buddy Julia showed me everything. We played and had fun. After break, we had numbers and counting. Going to school was so much fun. Me and Julia had lunch together. I had lunch on a tray. After lunch, Miss Sanson read us a story. I wanted Willie to cuddle, but I couldn't find him. Said, yes, Tick. I've lost Willie. Okay. I told Miss Sanson. I was so worried. Miss Sanson couldn't find Willie. Poor Willie was lost. Miss Sanson told the nice lady. The nice lady told the head teacher. The head teacher told Julia, my buddy. Do you know where he is? I know where Willie is. Excellent. On you go. Julia knew where Willie was. Willie was where I had left him when I went out to play. Middle-aged lady. I was so happy to have Willie to hug again. After school, when I got home, I was very tired. How's your first day at school? I was grumpy. I didn't want to talk. I wanted to hold poor Willie. Hey, Tig! You've had your first day at school. You're very tired. But what has made you even more tired is losing me. Maybe tomorrow you should leave me here at home. No, Willie, I'll never I'll never leave you. But you left me today and I got lost. School is a busy place. You don't want me to get lost again. I love you, Willie. And I love you too, Tig. I'll be here waiting for you every day, like Mummy and Daddy. Yippee! Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I love Willie. I love Mummy and Daddy. I like them safe at home. Going to school the next day was exciting. We did gym. We did counting. We played. Miss Sanson read us a story. I hugged a frog and thought of Willie. When I came home, Willie was waiting for me. I'm only a toy spider. Then I told Willie and Mummy and Daddy all about my day at school. And then after break, we I like going to school. I like coming home. I love Willie. Hey, Tig, 